am Pinstar, and this is Transport Fever Strategy and Tactics, Episode 14. So, in our last episode, we uh, we fought a little bit with our, our modification to our, our aquatic stone heartline here, and I intend to still fight the good fight. Uh, however, one thing I think I'm going to do just for the moment, sorry, Ponyville, just just saying sorry right now, get it out of my system, but I think it is time for you to lose your local delivery here, because that will, that should, in theory, stop the, uh, um, uh, stop the deliveries from going, um, uh, from, stop the ships from holding on to minute amounts of, of, uh, um, Ah, brain! Ah, construction materials! That's the word I'm looking for. That's the word I'm looking for. Construction materials. Uh, so we're going to send you on a different line. I think we're going to send you on the plastics line here. Because the whole point of pulling you off there should increase the amount of grain flowing here. Which will create more plastics. So off you go. And off you go. So no more goods distribution for a while, Ponyville. Sorry, but you're messing with the system. Once we get once we get the stone heart line saturated to where we can fully load the um, um, fully load Ponyville here, then I think we'll be okay. Or you know what? I might make a sister line, sort of like a double barrel line, but um, have it go directly to Ponyville and have that be the source of uh, of um, construction materials which should allow its other uh, sister line, uh, the one that stops off here, to feed the rest of the region, supply the things, but eh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, one other thing I realized I forgot is we've got a couple of lines with borrowed cars on them. So we've got to uh, set them to uh, to upgrade here um, no, you're fine for now uh, raccoon H Pi Ponyville has some older vehicles on it so you guys all need to be Benzes because that's one thing you do need to be mindful of you still haven't upgraded yet you st boy you're behind the time mr. ship Oh yeah, we gotta get rid of Stone Age construction here. <laughs> the old uh, heartline for um, trade goods or er, construction. Money. Boy, what what the heck is with my uh, mental block against that? Uh, Twenty minutes, Verona to Pyroboria, and it's losing money. You know what? I think our passenger lines here could use a little help. They could use an extra ship or two. Um. Yeah, your passengers. Can carry a hundred but boy are you expensive let's go with the slightly cheaper model um, Verona to Pyroboria and that brought us down to ship 12k because Pyroboria seems to be the more passenger <coughs> yeah. passenger intensive one so we'll see how that goes now the other thing is uh, we're start, especially once we start delivering grain here, we're going to start feeding that to our plastic plant. But our plastic plant's going to get very cranky very quickly, um, unless we um, unless we give it some food. Oh yeah, we're also suffering from the effects of our little construction plant here decided to be cute and downgrade itself down to level back down to level one because that had a drought of materials. So now it's just realizing, oh crap. We're getting fed way more than we can handle because, I mean, look at it. Its storage bay is absolutely packed. And it's like, oh, I can't keep up with this. Oh, and there's another hundred coming down the line. Oh, and there's another hundred coming down the line. Yeah, you shouldn't have downgraded, you dingus. So that's going to be a little bit of a speed bump in our whole thing. Uh, and then this little thing that just barely doesn't want to hook up to here. But I have an idea. I think we can, um, I think we can, we can fix that. Because if we set a large truck station to be within this catchment area, but also within this catchment area, it might use that as like a bridge. Um, so essentially, if and effectively, 
uh, linking this to this to this. Because this is most certainly within this thing's catchment area. So that, my friends, is my master plan. Um, the other thing I wanted to do now that we have more of the... Is let's get some larger country roads here. Oh, I don't have the money for that. Come on, give me some money. Give me some money. We need some big country roads. Country roads take me home. Alright, I guess we're going medium here. Yeah, we're we're sipping at the heel here. Come on. There. How come you don't just pass that really slow car, guys? Like, pass them? Is there, like, bus... Oh, yes, bus lanes. Bus lanes is what I should have added. I meant to add bus lanes. Large country road with bus lanes, thank you very much. With bus lanes, with bus lanes, with bus lanes. I mean construction not possible. Not with that kind of attitude. I should have put that back, a little further back. Well, we must have been uh, hitting some good, uh, yeah, that's definitely like half a million maintenance tick there. And that wasn't even from here, because you got you you just left. Yeah, kinda wishing you didn't drop down to one. Because you're just kinda trickling out the, the production there. And the line's kinda too saturated to put up with you doing that. Alright, let's let's continue our, our forward progress here. Let's, um, small country of the road here. Yeah, at the very least, we can get those with bus lanes. I guess it counts, even with small country lo loads, you can do bus lanes. Uh, you have bus lanes, guys. Yeah, hey! You're slowing everybody down, you jalopy! This is why I have bus lanes. You're not a bus! Uh, okay, enough. Enough with that, enough with that. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a ship going here to start doing our plastics run. Uh, and we also need to police this area for malarkey like this. So hopefully that will knock itself off pretty soon. Hey, right, anyone else coming down here soon? No, you just got stone. All right, well, let's get our plastic line going. It's not going to do anything for the moment, but we still want it up so that our plastic plant does not get cold feet. So we go from here to here and back again. Um, this is going to be stick each slag. See, what I see coming coming back here from the return trip here, or at least what I hope only is the only thing that comes from the return trip, um, is slag left over from our steel production, which we'll be getting into shortly. So speaking of steel production, let's uh, let's start hooking that up. Actually, before we dive, well, no, no, I'm gonna wait for the next uh, the next technology of truck to come out before I enhance my truck lines um, because that would well might as well buy it when the technology's new. Uh, so yes, we need to start getting steel going. So we take our. Uh, the nub from our five million dollar Medinus. And uh, we'd be putting it over here. Luckily, this uh, this thing 
Makes for a very easy link into the water. And now that's the coal. For our iron, if you remember correctly, this used to be a bridge that I had to clear out for our main road here. We're never going to be restoring this bridge because the only thing that was on the other side of the bridge was, uh, was the iron ore here. Which f happens to fit nicely with a single unit. Um, yeah, see? You're... And let's just double check, make sure we've got navigable waters. We've got navigable waters. Even though this is a thinner part of the river, other ships can get past. All right, so then we've got two new, uh, two new things to line up here. We've got one new line. I'm starting it farther away only because um, that'll give it time to get the memo so it'll start producing goods so that way it'll have something to pick up when it gets there and this is gonna be a real short route now unfortunately the two two versions of raw or delivery here are not gonna be heart lines and I really can't see a feasible way to make them heart lines uh, so they are going to be single single destination routes it's part of the Part of the cost of doing business, unfortunately. Um, so sadly, yeah, we're going to be stuck with that for a little bit. Yeah, well, for, for forever. But I don't think that's the worst thing in the world. We can get away with a couple of heart lines uh, without it uh, being a, a long-term problem here. We just need to get our money back up so we can get a coal ship going. And I also need to police eh, these. Why are they continuing to bring construction materials down when I have clearly terminated the whole construction materials thing? Ah, there we go. Hang on, let me get this before we get the down tech. New line. And this is going to be cold, cold delivery. Now our first line that I forgot to name. Where's line one? There you are. Iron, iron delivery. All right, yeah, we need, uh, I might go double barrel on our food ships here soon. Uh, once we get our next level of truck technology, because we need to be able to distribute all that food. All right, you, you actually took grain! You took grain naturally! <laughs> you actually took grain without me having to force... The, the, like, three construction materials off of you. Ooh, now, here's the, here's the thing. 46 construction materials. Will you actually get rid of them properly? And where the heck are, oh, okay. Dump them all, dump them all, dump them all. Come on, all 46. Yes, and they pick up the grain. Success. Yes. We will eventually restore services to Ponyville. I, I promise. Because we want Ponyville to grow. We want them to prosper. Trust me, we do. But um, we also want that to be there. <laughs> you know what we could do? If we left that... Well, no, no, that wouldn't work. We eventually do need to get the distribution back up online. But I'm saying if we left it on there, they could get distributions from here uh, via the plastics route. That would be rather amusing, but not completely unacceptable. All right, how are we doing over here? We're doing all right. Uh, did we put any, I think, um, 
Crude 2 needs um, needs to be told to have the better vehicles here. Or did I already do that? I might have already done that. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. Uh, it's all well and good to put this here, but they ain't going to do squat unless we uh, put another one over here. Oh, look at that. That is some that is some steep terrain here. Yeesh, am I going to be able to build this thing for under 100k? Without without breaking the bank here? Sheesh. Well, I got away from my money to recover anyway, but jeez. I mean, it's got to be built here. There's no getting around that. And I'd prefer to build it down this way to shorten the length uh, that we need to go under. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, I think 60 is about what I'm going to be able to get away with here. I'll put it away so I can actually expand the road later. Oh, 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 I, oh, oh, no. Oh, what happened to 60? I got greedy. I lost my 60. I lost my 60. Yeah, it's like 30, but with the road attachment, not so much. Uh, I don't want to pay 100k. Where's my 60? Good enough. All right, you are attached to that. Good. All right, let's uh, let's get our road depot over here. Uh, we only really need the one. And again, this is our memo sender. This is going to be or Heartline Steel. Guys, both kinds of ore. The coal ore, well, coal's not really an ore, but you know, you get the idea. And the iron ore are both going to go down into that same direction. This is going to turn into steel. It brings the steel back here where the uh, where the uh, factory is going to produce it or process it. So that's exactly what we want to happen. And then steel equals tools. Steel plus plastic, which is going to be coming here independently, makes machinery. And then we're going to get both halves of this production. I don't remember if I mentioned this in a past episode, but I'm going to mention it now. Um, for those of you who are trying to get into the more advanced uh, production circles faster, may be frustrated with something. Because tools, tools kind of looks like low-hanging fruit because you could make them with just wood. Um, and wood's really not that hard of a thing to make. Here's your problem. Here's the problem. The factory will not upgrade unless both tools and machinery is um is producing um at a at a uh, high enough click uh if you're only making tools the only production level you will ever get out of the factory no matter how much you supply it is 50 that's it so it can be a bit more uh difficult to utilize the factory early on at this later stage in this game i'm comfortable uh, upgrading and moving on up to the next level. Uh-oh. Ficklewood H glass bolt. Oh, it's just because I'm in debt. It wants to be replaced. It, I just don't have the money to replace it. Oh, yeah, now you're producing. Look at that. You've upgraded yourself twice. You've upgraded yourself twice. And now we have 223 materials waiting. And you're full of materials. Well, hopefully somebody comes here fast enough. Well, no, that's the logs. There's the coal. There's the stone. There we go. Hopefully you don't get any fa any funny ideas about downgrading yourself again. All right, we've got a good supply of this stuff going here. Got 100 stone here. You're about to uh, pick up another 100 stone, which means we need to get another Klondike for this line. 
Come on. Damn. Boy, that was one heck of a that was one heck of a tick there. Come on, big money, no whammies. There we go. Got it right before the tech. Stone construction. And yes, please do start in Ponyville West. That is where you are needed because there's over 100 stone here. The, uh, our uh, rock farm here is producing quite nicely. What is your problem? Are you part of a uh, Veronaville to Pelican? Fuel H Pelican. Yeah, you guys should be replacing yourselves. I think I just must have been out of money at the time you stopped in. All right. Yeah, and then you guys are doing your thing with the plastics. Hopefully this thing will start spitting out plastics. Because it should start seeing the need and the demand and the ability for that to get there. You guys are full of, of grain, right? You're actually bringing grain to here, right? Yes, you are. Good. Good, good, good. All right, you're keeping up with your grain production. You're producing well enough. Um, oh, yeah, the, the last thing that we need here is another delivery route. And again, this is going to be a memo sender route. Let's get a little more speed going here so we can get the uh, get our money going here. So we put this plun and we bring it to here and back again. And this is going to be high tech heart heart. Because this kind of plugs in our higher tech goods into our whole matrix. Um, now, what this brings back here, uh, I don't know. It's, it's more like high tech delivery, but I'm fine either way. Because our high tech goods are going to be delivered by from Glass Bolt here. It's distributed amongst the region, if you will. Once we get our next level of tech truck, I'm going to start actually saturating these lines so that the trucks can actually keep up. For the time being, I'm okay with the lines sort of piling up and building up. And also we'll add trucks as... Holy crap. Um, oh, I never actually upgraded our uh, trams here. What do we got? Veronaville, Pelican, and Raccoon. Nope, no, not a tram. We need, we need actually... Road vehicles, yeah, yeah. This double, this top seater. I forgot to upgrade all of our replacement plate things with top seaters. Let's get two of you in the Veronaville to Pelican passenger line, and one of. Oh, all right, three of you then. Veronaville to passenger to Pelican, and then one of you to Raccoon City. Raccoon per passenger Veronaville. That should clear up some of the, the things and inspire more passengers. We should also probably add another ship to the uh, to the Ponyville half of this line. Because if anything, we want them to get a little uh, Veronaville to Ponyville. Because the more frequency you get on the boats, the more people are willing to take the boats in the first place. So even if the demand is not literally there, by putting more ships on there, it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. All right, how are we doing here? You're pulling in... Oh, it's the plastic ship. Well, plastic ship ain't going to do ship uh, with this particular trip. Not till everyone comes back with their plastics. Is... Uh, Okay, good. You're actually spitting out plastic. So, yeah. The plastic ship ain't going to be doing ship right now. And you're coming in with another full load of grain. Excellent. Excellent. Very well done. Now, this will definitely be a line worthy of uh, further saturation. Run a little low on stone. 
You're getting low. Did um, did the um, this disturb place downgrade? Yeah, it downgraded itself. Cause it's dumb like that. You need to stay on 400, you dolt. Glass bolt P Pelican. What's your replacement policy? Oh. Why don't we update you? Since you're in need of updating. Anyway. Well, at least you got a full boat of construction materials. That's what counts. And hey, we're back above a million. It's been it's nice to get to see that again. See? I told you we'd be able to dig out. Just uh, just a little bit of a period of low capital. Oh, and we are starting to get our plastic deliveries on. Excellent. Yep. As our little uh, our little guys here show on up deliver their plastics, pick up their uh, pick up their grain here and, uh, and take their return trip. What is your major malfunction? Ficklewood H glass bolt. Uh, as long as you're set to upgrade to the bends, which you are, I've got the money to upgrade you. So do what you gotta do, buddy. You're a big boy, you can handle it. Whoa, ho, ho, we need those upgraded trucks and we need them soon. We need fewer vehicles and more capacity on said vehicles. So our next truck upgrade is going to be absolutely critical. And I might pull a 25% gambit on them. And I'll show you that probably in the next episode when that actually rolls around. Um, all right, we are building up prodigious amounts of coal. Um, because this is a really, really short delivery line here. I might add another ship to our iron ore line because, yeah. Raw food, H food. Wait, why are you coming out empty? You're a heart line. You shouldn't be empty. Seriously, why are you empty? You don't. You don't belong being empty. When, well, either way, let's let's add another ship to our uh, iron ore line, regardless of where that one is. Um, iron do iron delivery, just because it's so far away. In order to get consistent iron deliveries, we need to keep up with it. Otherwise, the coal's just going to overwhelm it. All right, you guys are keeping up with the distribution here. I might go double barreled on our uh, on our line here. In fact, why don't I make a line from here to here? Um. Raw food, H food two. And then we will, we'll start by sending a single uh, pioneer ship into that one just to get the, uh, the stuff seated. And then from there we can build up the line once the, uh, once we start getting products sent to line number two. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build up my money uh, at the moment, waiting for the ne that next truck to upgrade because, yeah, we need it. Look at all this fuel. Like our, our separate double barrel line here is almost a little too efficient. And we need more we need more stuff to be able to cart this stuff away or this line's going to start shutting itself down. Uh, but until we, we get bigger carts or bigger trucks. I don't want to buy a whole bunch of Benzes and then like a year later have their replacement come out. That's just not good business. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to save my cash and then do lots and lots of truck upgrades across the board. Uh, and actually once that, uh, once the, oh, and I hear the beep beep. Is this it? Yeah. Opal Blitz. 
Um, and the Zurich is another passenger. Like, they love their passenger ships. It'll be a while before we get um, some uh, different ones of ours. But yes, the Opal Blitz is going to be our is going to be our ticket to the good life when it comes to uh, trucks. So I think what we're going to do is here we're going to cut the episode, um, and then off screen I'm going to adjust all of my uh, replacement policies. Um, for our passenger lines to upgrade to the top seaters and for our um, uh, cargo lines to upgrade them to the Opal Blitz. Then we will see uh, how our finances go and also where we can buy new trucks to shore up our distribution channels. So stay tuned. It should be a good one. So if you like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback is always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya.